Hey, this is Dwayne with the best of us, the Floros. It's time to put my next base 322 into my new to me truck. <laughs> We've done without it for a little while, but several reasons that I think it's a value to have it in the truck. Uh, the security of being able to have things recorded from the front and the back, but most importantly for us now, we have a fifth wheel, and we also have that fifth wheel hitch. But I thought you might wanna learn from my experiences today as I reinstall uh, this next base into this truck, and just some things I learned from the process the last time. I know several of you were interested in the next base and thought you might like to follow along with me as I do this installation again this time. Come along. Again, uh, this is the next base 322 model. Serves, serviced me well in my last truck. Have no reason to believe it won't do just as well in my newer truck. As you can see, I've already mounted the rear camera Made sure all my links were just right. Um, probably could have got the wire a little tighter, but because I want to adjust the camera on a regular basis, wanted to leave myself a little bit of a give. Most newer vehicles uh, allow you to have a track by which you can tuck your wires and hide them totally out of sight. And so I ran it all the way down the side, the back seat under all the plastic wear. And as you can see, my carpet is filthy. That's the next project is to vacuum this out. That's what happens from hollowing a lab around with me. But as you can see, we're tucking this underneath of the plastic siding and we'll take it forward into the front of the cab. Another important point to consider before you install it is to kind of run everything in advance. As you can see, I have uh, slid open my rear window. If you have one of these, remember that glass has to go somewhere. And in this particular RAM model, it slides to the driver's side, which means the camera needs to be mounted on the passenger side of the fixed glass. Just a little something to think about. Save yourself some time and effort. When you come to this part of the installation, make sure that you check not to put the wire on the inside of the seatbelt. That could cause some compromise. Also, it would be a good point where the wire could end up being pulled out rather than stored. So go between the door facing and the outside of the seatbelt and tuck underneath of this piece. That will keep it secured, out of sight, and ease of mind. For this next stretch, once I get to the front, lower part of the dashboard. I go up behind this plastic piece next to the emergency brake and then I pass underneath right here and I'll tuck this wire so it won't show but I just want you to see. Then to get above the windshield I follow this all the way up and across to the headliner. Here's another really nice feature that comes with the system. You are able to uh, have an extra set of stickies so that you're able to just peel this off and you have a fresh stick, a double-sided stick, so that you're able to adhere this to your windshield. Great, simple system that works well. And there you go. Your camera is now in place and ready for service. As you can see, I've got it in place and it's recording. One of the things I really like about this camera is the back window camera. As you can see, it's got a good view of our RV behind us. And it records, um, in this case, the inset picture. But then when you need to go back and look at it, it's actually two separate recordings. So if you really want to focus on the rear camera, you're able to do that. And if you want to just look at the front camera, you can do that. I did try to record backing up under the saddle. Problem is my back cover uh, blocked that view. So I was not successful. I might have to come up with another plan to make that work. But if you uh, want to uh, 
purchase one of these this is a great model again it's the 322 and it's got a good clear picture and does a great job of picking up the lake or anything that's in front of you the rear camera which is an option uh, gives you a good rear visual and recording so let me just take a minute and be able to kind of summarize the uh, benefits of this camera system first let me tell you a couple things I like about the system uh, I love the convenience of it uh, with the front camera and the back camera working together uh, it just has many pros to it also secondly it doesn't get in the way of your viewing while you're driving down the road uh, that's a good thing let me tell you one of the concerns that I have about this particular system is the screen can be a little small uh, at times it'd be better if it was a larger screen but then that's the trade-off of taking up space if you're asking what kind of rating I would give this I'd give it a definite two thumbs up uh, because of the recording uh, because of just the convenience of it I'm still gonna work on that back camera being able to help me to hook up maybe we'll have that update in a future uh, video but again, so if you have some comments about your experience uh, with the cameras uh, some insights that you've learned uh, take a moment and give us some comments so that we can all learn from your experience with them as well but again thanks for watching uh, appreciate all that you do along with us if you haven't subscribed yet please take a minute and subscribe to the best of us the Floros and if you push the bell it'll let you know when our next video is coming out if this has been helpful for you give us the thumbs up that thumbs up helps us know we're on track with you uh, again have a great day thanks for watching see you next time Bye.